Hi world. Hey dad one coming at you. Today I want to scream, but I won't. I'm going to talk a little bit about this debacle that has been caused by Obamacare. The Affordable Care Act. In Florida, 300,000 people with individual policies have been given cancellation notices. The reason they're able to do this is because these people signed up for insurance after 2010. And a lot of them signed up with pre-existing conditions. Just like President Obama said, now you can get health care with pre-existing conditions. Well, let me tell you, that was just a piece of cheese to get you in that mouse trap to where they can drop the hammer on you now. Eighty percent of Florida Blue individual policy holders have been cut because of this friggin thing. Eighty percent in other states it's just as bad but from what I can see Florida is the worst or it is anyways with Florida blue and what are we to do about this take control of the whole medical thing I don't see us being able to do that, we can't even take control of our country. So are we to turn to holistic medicine, grow our own herbs and things in the backyard? Possibly. Possibly. Turn to the black market, turn to the streets to get our penicillin possibly or are we all going to have to turn to the Affordable Care Act exactly what they want us to do see they said he said that we'd be able to keep our insurance policies if we liked it. Well that was a friggin lie. That was one of many lies that he spewed. And I hope the people are proud that have backed him and backed this thing and think that it's so great. You may have gotten one of those cancellation notices for your health coverage. Anyways, this just disgusts me to my core. Totally disgusts me to my core. My insurance policy, when I signed up for it in 2008, was $198 for two months. Right now, it's pushing 600 for two months. It hasn't just doubled, it's tripled. Thanks, Obama, for your wonderful... Affordable Care Act. What a sick piece of legislation. We have to pass it to see what's in it. Yeah, we sure did. And they shoved it down our throats. And they passed it. And now we're seeing what's in it. 
and we can't get rid of it because the politicians won't listen to us. They don't listen to the people anymore. And what do we do? Nothing. Well, come here real soon. People's food stamps are also going to be cut back. They're not going to be cut off, but their amount that they receive is going to be cut back. And they're not even telling them about it. This could possibly be a gear up to them totally cutting them off. I said that it looked like in the mid second third week of October it looked like things were going to be getting bad. Well it seems like they've gone in there and they've passed this debt ceiling and raised it and they've postponed that a little bit. They've pushed that back some. Possibly to this next month. But anyway, here's a little article that I'm going to link up to you that you can read about some of the stuff that's going on. How people are getting cut. People that have paid in thousands of dollars for years thought that they could keep their stuff being given cancellation notices in the mail and don't know what to do and don't know where to turn to get help. We are becoming a third world country fast. We've got to do something about it. We've got to take our country back because the Constitution is hanging by a thread. We will save the Constitution. It ain't going to be the politicians who save it. It's going to be the American people who save it. Not them. They don't care anymore. They don't care about us anymore. They do what they want. They're in it for themselves. I hope everyone's having a great day. As good as day as you can. I'm sorry to rain on your parade like this and give you this kind of bad news God bless and God help us all and good luck with everything that's coming this is chatty dad one never give up your guns your rights go right along with them the rights that we have left they're not too many they're few we do, we do still have some, though. Over and out.